What is up guys and thanks for tuning in to Vitamin D TV. I'm Vitamin D and today we're going to show you how to throw a bait caster. All right. So you guys have been watching my videos for a little bit. You see that I like using bait casters on some of my inshore trips. So today we're out here in Ocean Springs, Mississippi, getting on those redfish and uh, the action is so fire that I feel like I can teach you guys how to throw a bait caster. If you like throwing bait casters or you want to get into it, and you wanna learn how to get it dialed in to where you can actually make a cast and not bird's nest every time. And uh, yeah, just get better control of those baits. That's why I like using them. You get good control of your bait whenever you're casting and uh, you just get, I like the feel of a bait caster in my hand and I like to uh, really feel that bait whenever I'm working it. So let's get to showing you guys exactly how I like to dial in a reel and uh, make good cast let's go so here i have my dawa tatula this is um, an old reel an old setup of mine it's a dawa tatula 150 hs and it's got a 7.3 gear ratio okay and this is a dawa aired x rod it's in medium heavy action okay and i got it spooled up with 10 pound p-line fluorocarbon and here we have a miradine lure okay this is a heavy dean in chartreuse and pink or pink and chartreuse and uh, i got it tied up with a perfect loop knot all right so that bait's about three quarter of an ounce and it's got a little bit of weight to it it's a little bit lighter bait but here's how you dial your reel in so first thing you want to do when you get your bait tied onto that reel is you want to push that button keep your thumb on that spool okay so here's my button here's the spool i keep my thumb right there on the spool and then I'll release that bait. See how fast that bait falls? When you're first getting started, the first thing you're gonna do is look for this little turning gear right here, this little, this little knob. That controls how loose that spool is gonna be, all right? So I got it tightened down some, I got that button pushed, and that bait's not moving, okay? So I'm gonna loosen it up some, and that's gonna free up this spool here, okay? And that bait should just free fall. See that? Dropped all the way into the water. I'm gonna bring that bait back up, and then we're gonna tighten that just enough to where that bait falls gradually at about a three second, and Jordan's on just like that. Okay, and we're gonna tighten that thing up just to where that bait falls slowly, nice and slow. Okay, for beginners, that's how you want it. You want that bait to fall nice and slow. So I got that button pushed, I'm going to release the spool. See, it falls nice and slow. Okay. All right. And then I like to make rolling casts. Okay. What do I mean by a rolling cast? That means I got that bait right here and I'll take it and I'll just roll into it. All one motion. Okay. When you can do that in all one motion, that gets you the best, that gets you the best cast the smoothest cast to where you don't do what's called backlash okay if i loosen this spool up and i just let that finger go watch this that is a backlash i'm sure you guys have experienced that before if you've ever used a bait caster so i'll bring that back up make sure i got it dialed in and then we'll make what's called a rolling cast just like that and I keep my thumb on that spool throughout the whole cast. Now, if I want to let that bait go further and I trust that I have my reel dialed in, then I'll let my finger off of it and I'll do what's called thumb it, okay? You can thumb that spool while you're casting, while that bait's in the air and flying. You can spool it that way too much line doesn't come off the spool too fast, okay? Then you have what's called your brakes. Most bait casters have a break. Some of them are internal, some of them are external where you can adjust it like this. Now, what your brakes do is allow for you to make a strong cast and that, that, and that reel breaks on its own, okay? Now, there are gonna be times where you still need to thumb it. You can get it dialed in to where it won't backlash on you, but you're not gonna get as far a distance. When you get it dialed in, you can make as long of a cast as you want, and you can actually have fun with it to where you don't get backlash. 
Backlashes are gonna be the most frustrating thing about bait casters, but once you get that reel dialed in, you can make some good cast and you can actually have a lot of fun and get some accurate casts with that bait caster. Now, we're gonna see if we can't go get hooked up with this bait caster. Jordan's over here taking a picture with her fish. Good job. And her and her hubby, Scott, is pulling in a fish. They're on fire this morning. Let's see if we can't get hooked up with this bait caster. So we've been chasing redfish all morning and it is a nice overcast day. The sun's not out and we can just see these fish tailing on top of the water. So when we see them tailing, we'll head over to them in our kayak. We'll put a cast right on them and then those fish are just chewing, devouring baits. So let's see if we can't get hooked up on this bait caster. Thought I saw a wake over here somewhere. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a rolling cast, try and get it close to the bank, all right? Give that bait a few twitches. Oh, I see fish up front. Nice bombing cast. That's a rolling cast. Let's see, let's see. We got him feeding right here, guys. He's on moment right here. Should be on. Look at that fish chasing. Chasing right here in front of me. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh, that was sick! Oh my God, that was sick! Yes! Oh my God, that was so sick! Yes! Oh my God! Oh, he pulled! Oh, that was so sick! So sick. Let's get over here. That's where they're feeding at. Watch this. Ooh, you lying. Oh, my God. Get me, get me. Ugh. Ah. Ugh. Ah. Put that hook in him, put that hook in him, baby. Yes. Ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. I really had to drive that hook into that fish. These guys have been coming unpinned on me. There we go. And we're on on the bait caster, guys. I really had to drive that hook into that fish. We've missed a few of them because this rod is a medium heavy and uh, that line is only 10 pound. It's fluorocarbon, but it's a lot of stretch in that lighter line, sir. So, so we've lost a few because of the stretch in that line but we're gonna try and get this guy. I don't wanna fight him too hard. There he goes. There we go, pulling a little drag. There we go. It's a nicer redfish right here. Don't wanna fight him too hard. I'm gonna back off of that drag a little bit more. This guy's got a little bit of fight in him. Yep. So when you're fighting these fish, guys, you want to reel down and then pull up, okay? Reel down, pull up when you can. 
This guy's got a lot of fight left. You can hear that line peel off of that reel. And I'm just playing that fish back and forth, letting him tire himself out. If he wants to take a line, then he can. He's got that bait deep. Let's see if we can't try and get this fish. Ah, yes. Mission complete. And he choked that bait. You can't even see it. There you have it, guys. That is how you throw a bait caster and successfully catch a fish. Um, we're going to get this fish on a hook for you guys, show him to you, and then we're going to let him go. Let's go. Oh my God. Look at how far, and he's got other bait fish in his mouth too. He's got that thing deep in there. It looks like he's got a shrimp or something in there. Let's try and get him unhooked. All right, guys, there we go. A beautiful, another nice Another nice, beautiful redfish caught on the bait caster with that Miradine. Gave us a good fight. Now we're just going to release this guy and let him go. Let him go turn into a bull if he wants to. All right, that's awesome. Got one spot on each side. Nice and healthy fish. Big old broad tail. Look at that tail. Nice and broad. Yeah. All right, let's let him go. Woo! Yes, fiery. There's fish everywhere in here, guys. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna continue fishing. We've got plenty enough to have a video for you guys, but I'm having so much fun that I'm gonna keep fishing. So, if you guys haven't already, so, there's fish chasing right behind me. So, I'm gonna get back to fishing. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Maybe we'll throw some more fish catches in there. Maybe we won't, but I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you in that next one, all right? Let's go. Peace.